Ricky. In case you're very confused, I have risen from the ashes like a phoenix. And I just made a bird noise. <laughs> Welcome back to the Egg Lock, Cage Lock, Sun and Moon featuring I, Munch, and him, Dan. Me, Dan. Hope you guys are excited for another episode because last time, once again, was not uh, the most, well, I don't actually know what words to even use anymore. Let's just say you gotta check out the last episode over on Dan's channel because we took on the ghost trial and I did not stand a ghost of a chance. You did not, spoilers, man. There it is. There your it is. team got decimated. <laughs> Five members of your team had been replaced on the last episode. Crowagunk. Well, Guzma. Crowagunk was a whole nother story. That was just- Dropper. <laughs> the other one. The other ones. Torkoal. You got a new team, so why don't, we, why don't we look at your new team here? Yeah, let's you got take them all leveled up. Took us a little while. Yep. Had to train them up. I'll let you cover what you got there. So go go for it, man. Show yeah. us what you're working so with. So starting off, I did have uh, an Aaron on my PC, and I leveled him up. Actually, at 32, I got most of my team members to 32, but he evolved at 32. And you can see he's got the superpower, the head smash. Very powerful. I don't, don't know about the accuracy. Wait, but what's your? Oh, you have rockhead, so yeah, you don't yeah. have to worry about recoil, got the rocket. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> and then of course we've got Wiz the Torto Nader, who actually has double fire moves there, but it's all good. Actually, I think he doesn't have the best nature. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about that one. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but it's all right. He's pretty cool. Armstrong, of course, you guys knew before. Kurama as well, and we've got another new one here. Coco the Palo. No, the St Sandy Gas. Not Sandy quite. Gas. Not quite a Palo Sandy yet. And last but not least, we've got P Hat the Marini. Level 33. Very nice, so rocking with that Pretty good stuff, so I am, I am pretty hyped for the new team. They're, they're looking a little bit weird, not gonna lie. They're definitely Pokemon I haven't like used too much, so. It's, yeah, well, it's I mean, you just added most of them to your team, so. Yeah. Uh, it's all pretty new for sure. So anyway, mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. We got, uh, we got a question of the day today, guys, as well. Who is your favorite cameo in Pokemon Sun and Moon? And we're not talking about the cameo cookies, because that's a thing. We're not talking about those. Tried those. No, you tried those? I had no idea what you're no. talking about. Anyway, cameo as in like a special guest feature, because in this game, in this game, if you guys haven't noticed, Colrus made an appearance already, and there's uh, another special guy that's going to be appearing in the next route coming up. So um, I'll ask you first, actually. Do you... Do you enjoy the red and blue cameo? I think that's gotta be my answer. I think red and blue, it probably takes the cake, man. They're uh, they're pretty cool that they added those in at the end of the game. Uh, but there's a few we were talking about. We were talking about like Cynthia mm -hmm. and- um, I mean, Wally kind of is in it too, if you like Wally. Yeah, Wally's kind of that. in it. So. Uh, Annabelle, actually. Annabelle yeah. counts as a cameo. Yep, um, Professor Burnett. Yeah, that too, actually. Dang, Sun and Moon has got a lot, They really, they really yeah. try to tie in the series. So there's definitely mm -hmm. a lot of people out there. So let us know who your favorite is. In Sun and Moon, who are you most surprised to see? But it looks like we've got uh, Plumeria here, Skull Team Skull Admin. admin. I was actually not back. expecting to be fighting these gold guys right back. now, too. And uh, yeah, she's definitely got, oh, actually, I think I, I have- team's ready, man. Yeah, I got my boy Itmar. Shout out to Aaron Itmar, my bud. Dude, head smash? <laughs> yeah, that is gonna wreck this gold bat. I'm actually pretty excited for the new team. Like I said, their Pokemon, I haven't really, I did actually have an Aeron before in, in Emerald, I think. Um, in a Nuzlocke, so, and it did pretty good. It made it all the way to the ending team, I think. So hopefully we can. Hopefully you don't get confused. Get, can, yes. All right. But yeah, oh my God, I, I've I never seen Head Smash's animation. I love it. That's cool. I love <laughs> Do we it. both agree though on on Red and Blue is the best cake? I think so, man. I think Red and Blue definitely take the cake, and I just love how Red doesn't even say anything. They take the cake and eat it, dude. And they then Red too. And then Red gives you the no the lucky duckies. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. I hit myself with the lucky duckies, man. Yep. Hey man, this head smash might just smash the lazzle too. Oh, this is definitely okay. That's that's still that hurts a lot. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't hit myself here. If we don't hit ourselves, oh come on, we would have destroyed that lazzle. Would have been destroyed. Destroyed. Mhm. Mm the only problem is I do have Wiz to switch in, but he doesn't have any. Yeah, he literally doesn't have any moves except for his fire moves. So, and P Hat doesn't have any water moves. I don't think he even learns water moves actually. I'm so trying this to figure is out not what to great. Do against the myself. Um, I guess I resist both his moves. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to go for. Hmm. Oh, actually, this thing has fluffy. I was about to switch that in. Dang, what the heck am I gonna do actually? Uh, oh. Coco is what? Ghost Ground. We have this one with bulldoze, but I don't know if it can take a couple of uh, flame bursts. Honestly, I guess it has to. It's got to take at least less than half damage. 
We'll see what happens, man. It's pretty bulky Pokemon. Of course, not being evolved definitely hurts, but we'll see how much this does. Yeah, I'm hoping. Oh my god, oh, that's okay. a lot. That Yo, Turtonator, dude. Lot. Go to Turtonator. I have to, yeah, and just heal up, I guess. Even though Turtonator can't hurt, hurt it, but at least he can take up a couple of hits. So Lazlo is kind of a monster. It's very fast, hard hitting. Yep. Turtonator's so baller, dude. It's such a cool. So you four times resist the fire move, which is nice. <sighs> I love it. So cool, man. I All just right. wish I had a what couple more. Have? <laughs> it's only got two fire moves and. Yeah. Yeah, so you're <laughs> Not probably gonna, gonna have to high. heal something. It's all right, though. Although, actually, you do have Marini. Although, you, I guess you can't Marini really doesn't do have any moves, though, any water moves, though. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to heal this guy up. I mean, if I wasn't confused and hit the head smash, it would be destroyed, so... The only oh, he problem might not is, actually be able to do anything aside from... Uh, you might just be able to flamethrower. Yeah, like, the only problem is I, I can't really, like, switch it in, so I guess I'm going to have to do that. Wow, toxic. toxic. So, maybe he Venice Shocks in this turn and you switch into... You switch into Leyron? Do you think he's gonna Venom Shock though? I think there's a solid chance. But then is there, that's the thing is, Leyron won't be faster than it though. I know, but so. if he Venom Shocks, you're immune and then you oh. take one fire move. I guess there's, yeah. The if you don't immunity. switch and he Venom Shocks, you might be dead. So that's the other play. Are you serious? All right, well, let's find out. <laughs> let's find out if it's gonna Venom Shock or not. Find out the stress, Because if man. it goes for one Venom Shock, Oh, okay. he Flame Burst Yeah, it. okay. that's not good. So that's a mm. tough decision now that you have to make. Well, I think I know one thing I could do. It's just Antidote. <laughs> Yes, you could definitely do that. Yeah, I just don't want to switch into a Flame Burst, man, and this thing is not Venom shocking right now. Well, you can live one. You know you can live one, right? You lived one Flame Burst? Uh, with Leron, yeah. Okay. But so maybe protect, see if it's going to Toxic this turn. And if it does Toxic, then switch into Leron. You think it'll Toxic twice? Yeah. It should, right? Nope. I'd say it doesn't like the Toxic anymore. Oh, All right, well, whatever. I'm just going to keep on Flamethrowing, flame I guess. Like, it's kind of annoying There's for sure. Are you kidding me? I feel like sometimes they just know what you're, what you, it, like, they do it depending on what you click, honestly. He knows, man. Uh, like, I place. definitely feel like this game has some kind of, like, I don't know, so sometimes you can tell what they're going to do for sure, but uh, this Toxic is annoying, and I'm pretty sure now he might Venno Shock, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he has it or not. Like, that's the scary part. The full. Hmm. Dang, dude, all these battles are getting so stressful for me, but this is a team at Skull Admin, so it's not like it's a regular trainer or something, but watch him. Okay. It I doesn't guess he... seem like Venishok is a thing, so I yeah. would just antidote then, and then... Yeah, I guess keep on flamethrowering, man. I guess that's my only choice here. If only Wiz had, like, another attack aside from fire moves, that would be just great. That would be handy dandy right there. Handy manny. But he doesn't, so we gotta deal with this. How are you handling this ace trainer? I'm like trying to figure out what I can do against it. <laughs> like it kind of destroys my whole team. He's got your own, your own sand shrew, dude. Your own snow shrew, I mean. Yeah, he kind of like destroys me. Really? I'm just going to go to my own Elsa dude, here. This thing with the toxics, man. You'll, you'll beat it. It's like I'm so scared of the Veto shock, though, because I feel like it still has it. I know. So it, far... it definitely feels like it should. Mm hmm. Or at least some kind of poison move, not just toxic, you know, but. Oh, man. Like I'm scared now because it's definitely going to kill me with the Veto shock, or it could. Um, I'm gonna go for one more flamethrower. Watch it finally do it. No, flame burst still. Okay. I'm yeah, like maybe really it scared of it. Well. I don't know, but I guess it might not, dude. Like, I just really don't want it to like be. Maybe it's waiting for me to get below half, just to one shot me with it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it oh, might use it now. Lowland Marowak. Yeah, and this. Oh my gosh, dude. This this That's poison is power. hurting a lot. All right, just don't have Venom Shock. Even if you do now, it won't hurt too bad. All right, good stuff. I didn't really think I would end up beating this thing with flamethrower, but I guess I had no choice. At least we did it. it took a while, unless he gets a crit. But oh, no, wow. even a crit might not kill it. I just got burned. Oh, that's not good. Especially on Mimikyu. Did it Will-O-Wisp, really? Yeah, weird. I wasn't that's, expecting that. Yeah, that's it doesn't crazy. break the disguise, though, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So I have that going for me. But. Yeah. I thought that, um. well, I think I mentioned it earlier, but Minior, like, kind of ignores or... It's immune to status with this. Oh, he goes for the boomerang, oh of course, to break my disguise. Dude, this guy's got the strats. The this, is a, strats. Yeah, this is an ace trainer, man. You better watch out. Uh, it did like nothing. Apparently, though. the boss is dying to meet us, by the way. Oh, boy. I'm and I'm, nervous. I'm just dying. I'm playing dying. He's just dying, dude. <laughs> He's dying to meet us, and I'm just dying over here. Ugh, battles you can't afford to lose aren't any fun. No, 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 oh, what no, just happened? no, 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 please don't die to burn. Please don't die to burn. Please don't die to burn. This is going to be close. I don't think oh, so. Oh, okay. my goodness. He just busted out the shadow bone out of freaking nowhere, dude. Dude, that was so close, man. What was that? Those numbskulls are pretty clever. Dude, like, where did that even come from? Out of nowhere, he just is like, oh, you here's a shadow wait, bone. You don't have a shadow face. sneak? 
Oh, I do. Yeah, but I died of burn. Oh, oh yeah, he still has one more Pokemon left. Wait, if he if this was his last Pokemon, would you even live? Or would the burn still burn? Uh, the know. burn doesn't, the, the burn wouldn't burn. Okay, but it, he does have another Pokemon though, is the point. Oh my goodness, dude. I thought I just lost Mimikyu. He didn't show the bone, uh, the, the Shadow, shadow bone. Club. Yeah, I didn't expect him to have Shadow oh, Bone. Oh, Shadow Club or Shadow, shadow Bone? Shadow Bone, yeah. Shadow Bone, yeah. He didn't show the Shadow Bone. Dude, I that's a scary move, man. Jeez. That dude. was like, that was really close for a second there. That was like, about as close as it's getting, man. He's mm -hmm. gonna Shadow Bone my Eugene, but Eugene can live, so it's all good. Like, if your Mimikyu was one level lower, it probably might have oh, died. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna just heal up real quick and uh, keep on trekking through here. I think he, I saw he had a, uh, what is it, Snowshrew, so that'll definitely be good for Tortonator. I just really need my other, my non-evolved Pokemon to get experience, but I feel like if I'm not using them in battle, they're not gaining that much. Even though we do have the XP share, but let's do it, man. Let's yeah. take this guy on. I've had I've had a lot of like I feel like that extra twenty percent from the refresh has made such a huge difference. <laughs> like I feel like my team is growing so much faster. Hey man, roughly twenty percent faster. We have one more grand cage match. I mean, the odds are definitely no t two more, man. Oh yeah, I mean like I have one that I could win and then still have a chance to get that boost or whatever. Because by the last no, there's one, two more. There's still Ula, we haven't done the Ula Ula one yet. And the one after Hapu. There's two Grand Cage matches, and then the final oh. Grand Cage match. Well, I don't know. For some reason, for me, I felt like... Actually, the Hapu one happens pretty early, so yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I have two chances still to get that boosted experience, but what I was thinking was I might not have a big chance to actually use... get to make use of the boosted experience. Got it. Um, well, I mean, hey, the next... Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. But there is still that whole final, like... Yeah, like there's after like, Hapu, there's quite a bit. Pony Island is like crazy levels too. Like the level, yeah. the the wild Pokemon there are super high level. Dude, I love that you have this Turtonator, man. I'm I'm like I love that I'm was, facing another fire. You really type need and to I learn can't Dragon do anything. Pulse. Yo, he does oh. have Bone Rings, so be careful. Yeah, super true. Effective. Um, I, oh man, Armstrong I, might not be bad. Uh, yeah, but oh, he's wait, fire. He has a fire move. Yeah. Does he have a fire move though, or just Will O Wisp? I don't think he's got a fire move. I is Will O Wisp Shadow Bone Boomerang. That's all I saw. Yeah, he definitely doesn't have Flare Blitz. I think so. I think this will be okay. I mean, the worst he can do is Willow Wisp, right? So. Yeah, if he Flare Blitzes you, though, that's gonna really stink. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have no, it. He's got Thrash. Okay, okay you're that's good. good. I just feel like Flare Blitz is like a love. Like, you wouldn't learn that to like level 40 ish. So. Yeah. All right, Armstrong. Finally, get them arms nice and strong. And hey, who are you run into there? I don't know, man. I think it's Grimsley. Is his Never name. seen this guy before. No, I've seen him. Oh, you have? <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty cool, though. Man, oh man, what is going on today? Somebody actually bothered coming to this kind of sad place? Well, no matter, I'll take you on, keep you company. Tell me, Uncle Grimsley is gonna flip a coin. Will it be heads or tails? Or it will be neither. neither. Or neither? Neither, neither? I've heard both. <laughs> oh, I learned Body Slam. I finally got another attack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like love that. Dork, dude. <laughs> yeah. Astonishing. I had indeed had been planning to have Scarberry stash out of the air as spun in the sky. Wow. A loss is a loss. I'll give you Sharpedo's info for your ride pager then. Ride it to victory. Dude, Grimsley took the L for that one. <laughs> All right, man. And maybe you don't need to hear this from me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. If you press B while riding Sharpedo there, I'll jet forward through the rocks. Here's, a cell. Here's some unwanted advice. Route 16 is where you're going to find Team Skull. Hey, we do get an. Oh wait, no, we don't. We don't, we don't get we an don't encounter, get encounter here because I already did this one earlier. But there's definitely I plenty of routes just still coming out, pals, dude. Man, oh man. You don't really get that many encounters in um in the wild like this, but I'm totally throwing down a repel because <laughs> I ain't trying to mess with that. So what's up with like Grimsley's kimono and stuff? Like I don't know, man. That's what that's what I really don't get because back in Unova it seemed like he was. I don't know. I think he was dressing for success, and I don't know what he's going on now. <laughs> what's oh, going I still on? Still got with an Grimley encounter now? even though I'm using repels. I love it. That's that's how it happens, man. Pelipper too. I hope I can run. Eugene, don't let me down, Eugene. Don't let me down. I love how Eugene's always just looking at me. Yeah. Because he's the back tail, you know? I can switch it up now. Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I see what you're saying now. Eugene's always looking at me, man. He's always looking at me. Eugene, All right, there's Eugene's a trainer always up here. Watching. I'm, battle. I'm pretty sure there's a trainer up here. You want to you battle? Oh, wait. I'm going to switch my Pokemon before I battle you because I have a feeling I remember what you have on your team for some reason. Always watching. All right, let's go, Sharpedo. This is actually one of my favorite rides, too, probably after Machamp, because I love just doing this. Yeah. This is so fun. Like, he literally drifts for a little bit. Whoa. It is fun. And this area, this um, this route is actually one of my favorites during the sunset. Oh, it's it really cool, the so orange water. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I love it. And actually, like, right before the orange water, too, there's, like, slightly purplish water. I don't know if you've ever seen it, or maybe it's after. Yeah, I think I know. But it looks super about. nice as well. And hey, since you came over here, I might as well do the same. There is a TM we can get. Oh, she's got the Alolan Vulpix. Uh, nice. It's got extra sensory. What? 
Yours might learn that soon. Oh, mine did learn it. <laughs> oh, it did? Oh, yeah. I got flinched. It's not bad. It's not a bad move. I, I can't say I've made too much use of it so far, but... I really hope we both get to have our, our Vulpix and our nine and our uh, Sandshrew get evolves. Hey, man, if anything, I've put the most effort into keeping uh, oh, you got Kurama body slam alive. Now. That's good. Yeah, At yeah. At least you have a non-fire move now. Yeah, and I think he it. does learn Dragon Pulse uh, at 40-ish, I think, so... It's not too far off. Hopefully I can get that before Guzma! I mean, O-Town. Totally not facing Guzma. Actually, at this point, Plumeri already said it, so... It's all good. The boss is dying to meet us. Yeah. This person is a very weird team. I gotta say, though, dude, I am definitely, like, a little nervous about Guzma, considering what happened to both of us last time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a little nervous, too. You did lose, um, Frida, and I, of course, lost Garful, so that was definitely not good. Yeah, rest in peace, Frida. I remember Frida. Mm-hmm. I remember. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get Dragon Pulse before Guzma, but it's all good. He has a hey, bunch of Hey, I love how my, uh, my Elsa here is putting in the work, dude, about to sweep this team. Nice. With, this... The, with the Metal... Oh, not even Metal Claw. Iron Head, even better. Yeah, Iron Head now. Even better, so I actually dude. have a good moveset. Iron... I, like, my moveset's almost done, I think. I have Iron Head. Oh, I have Slash right now. I actually want to get Hail on it, though, so I could set Hail and then not speed <laughs> everything. That's my Oh, hope. dude! Ice Beam, finally! I would... I, I would of, probably get rid of Ice Shard Yeah, I'm going to keep the you. Freeze Dry because it definitely has come in handy against a lot of water Pokemon. Yeah, and then once you get Blizzard, then just switch Ice Beam for Blizzard and you're good. Yeah, and I have Timid, so I'll always be kind of quicker, I think. Yeah, buddy. But yeah, this thing, I, I have something special planned Wild for this charge. Wiggly Tough. It's actually pretty similar to what you did. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it just has Iron Head. Wait, Wiggly Tough is a fairy, right? Yep. Fairy yeah. normal. It's so weird. I didn't think like they, I guess Clefairy makes sense. It has fairy in the name, but I didn't think Jigglypuff would be a fairy too. I thought that they would kind of keep that one normal. Right, I'm, but I guess I'm it's cool. skipping this guy. Oh, okay. oh I guess you get not. a wild encounter instead. <laughs> you get a wild encounter though. Oh, you have Iron Head. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I got, I got a low in Sand Slash's move there. Sand True. Watch out for a uh, superpower from the Wigglytuff, bro. Does it really have it? No, Are but it's going to use me? Sing, of course. That's annoying. <sighs> Wait, does Wigglytuff really, really get superpower though? No. Okay. <laughs> I, it, might, it might by uh, Move Tutor, but I, I doubt it has it, like, by level up. Yeah. Oh god, I can't get away. Please don't do this to me. Why do I keep being put to sleep? Oh my goodness, At least I definitely feel much. like it. Alright, I'm going to. Yeah, you've been put to sleep so much. Like, there's no doubt about it. Dude, maybe it's saying something about me, like, that I've been sleeping sleeping on this playthrough, you know? Maybe, man. I think, it, I think you have been a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> been sleeping a little bit but it's all good yeah i do like the team i got now i'm hoping you know I, honestly that whole uh ghost trial like i was not expecting that before that episode started i definitely thought i would be sticking with that previous team for a long while but the totem mimic you and the gengar which I, I think i kind of ended up messing myself up by having that gengar come out but man, it is what it is. That that episode was super exciting. That though. Gengar <laughs> definitely made things really. Oh, I did run into him. Hey, Lil. Uh, that Gengar definitely made things really tough for you. Yeah, tougher That's, than they already you were. Just, you just gotta leave <laughs> it, man. The totems just leave it. Oh man, this guy's making me feel bad about myself. What's up, Jared? <laughs> I'm gonna just walk all the or swear. This is the Subway the guy. Around. Hey, look at this. This is the guy from Subway right here. Jared. Although I think he like got arrested and stuff since. Yeah, then, I'm pretty so. sure he hasn't been doing too hot since <laughs> his subway days. <laughs> uh, let's pretend I never you know. said that anyway. Good job on his weight loss. Not great. Not a great job on everything else. Fun fact: Tentacruel has base 100 speed. What? Bet you didn't know that. That's pretty quick for a giant squid tentacle thing. <laughs> yep, faster than Haxorus, bro. What the heck? It's, it's same speed as uh, Salamence. Well, I guess Haxorus is weighed down by that giant axe on his head. <laughs> All right, wait, who did you end up fighting here? Is it this? Is it oh, no, I ran into a wild tram, but there is a double battle on the beach that I was thinking about doing. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those guys, honestly. I'm just not a big fan of double battles. They're like super stressful. Ooh, there we go. We want to learn air slash. I like it. I do feel like there's some battles over here, though. Oh, never mind. There's absolutely nothing over here. All right, well, I made it to the Pokemon Center. And that's a new route, Route and This 16. is a new route, yeah. Hey, maybe I'll get Crab Brawler. Probably not. <laughs> that was risky. I don't know why it was risky, but. I don't know, dude. Crab Brawler with them Dukes, you never know, dude. I think Lily just came in here so she could bark. She just wanted to be a part of the playthrough. She just wants some attention, dude. She wants... I don't blame her. I just realized she took... No, never mind. Hmm. Was it a toy? Yeah, there's like a toy right there. It's been there for like the <laughs> last couple episodes. <laughs> yeah. I just I just leave it. I thought she took it because <laughs> I couldn't see it in the camera for a second. All right, I'm healing up. This is your friendly reminder to heal at some point. Yeah, this is I also... I to forget that. This is also my first encounter here, so... Um... Oh, that's fall. That might work out. I don't think it'll work on the first turn, but it might. Might just. I don't know. 
Hopefully it does because I would rather have a nice and easy capture here. Oh, there's a TM there's back the, here. There's the Spinda squad. Wow, Dan, you just know all the secrets, don't you? <laughs> I played this game. I haven't played this game ever. <laughs> X Scissor, nice. It just thinks that we can't use TMs, guys. We were talking about this between episodes. Uh, one of the things that makes this playthrough even harder that I think often gets forgotten is just how hard it is to not use TMs because yeah. a lot even of held items we don't get Z moves like yeah, unless they win. Unless you win, yeah. So. It uh, definitely makes things tougher when you take the held items out of it, you take the Z, move, Z moves out of it for sure, you take, uh, I mean obviously it's a Nuzlocke and then the TM part, so that's why I feel like the Cage Lock is yeah. it's where it's at guys. Dude, it's brutal man, but I, I've been liking it, like it's definitely the most challenging run I think I've ever done, but... <laughs> the death box says, uh, says that is definitely the case. Yeah, it does confirm it for us, um, but Confirmed. I do feel like the TMs, like specifically maybe in, the, in Sun and Moon or something, I just feel like in Sun and Moon, the Pokemon don't learn like that great of moves leveling up. So like not having TMs has definitely hurt a lot, but. Did you get your encounter? Yeah, I got the Raticate. I'm just kind of grabbing all these items over here. You wanna do a quick hatch before we continue? Yep, I'm down. Um, we right. do have the Meadow actually, so we could go get that Pokemon real oh, quick yeah. if you want. Okay, we yeah. can could either hatch now or hatch yeah, I'll later. Just, I'll just matter. hatch right now, man. It doesn't matter. I mean, I've got a full team of six, so it's all good. All right. I'm gonna. Oh, he went for bite. Okay, I see you. I'm trying to put him to sleep right now. Mm. I missed. All right, level 30 eradicate here. Oh god, he's calling for help. I don't know what what egg should I go for here? Maybe next to the Alolan Sandshrew. <sighs> oh man, Cold that's hope. unlucky, dude. Actually, I'm gonna pick up the one next to this other eradicate. And this whatever this is will be a level 30 egg here. I guess we haven't been like leveling them up. Yeah, I'll write it down though for you if you want. Yeah. All right. It's level 30, you said. Yep. And here it goes. I feel like this is actually gonna be something really good for some reason. I have a really good feeling about it. So let's hatch it and Swablu. Swablu. Um, well, it's definitely interesting. I mean, <laughs> I like Swablu. I don't know about, I do like Altaria. I don't know about Swablu, but I do like Altaria and I forgot to nickname it, whoops. It's all right. I would have named it uh, something like Nimbus or Cumulus, Cumulus <laughs> or Icarus. I don't know, something related with clouds. Let's just go with that. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just keep that in the PC for now. Actually, would it evolve at level 30? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know when it evolves. Yeah, I don't know what level Altaria is. I feel like it is below It's not that, yeah, it might be early 30. 30s. It's not too bad. Um, by the way, it's a good Pokemon. I don't know if you know what this this little lab here is, but we haven't been picking Zygards. any of them up. So yeah. if you've been picking up your Zygarde cells, you can uh, actually form yourself a Zygarde Doge there. There or, it is, man. Or the 50% form, I guess, if you gotta know. So now we head right to the meadow, right? Is that what's next? Yep, are you ready for it? I'm ready for it, I'm man. I'm gonna just head on over here. I know you took on a couple of extra trainers back there. Uh, maybe just one, actually, but. Yeah, I think it was just the one. I'll probably just take on everybody here. And this guy, another one of those Z-move trainers, I think. Oh, is he? Oh, no, actually, no, he's, um, he gives you another item. I think the flame orb. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like I if you beat that. him. This girl over here, though, I don't know what she's looking out for. She's, I don't know. Just looking out over the meadow. I like it, though. Let's take her on. All right, I'm gonna hatch an egg, man. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. And hey, this is actually where we can get Chacha. I mean, like in the regular game. Oh yeah. So Chacha's about to visit her homeland. Chacha is excited to learn Revelation Dance. Hopefully, in the very near future. Mm -hmm. Wait, what does Chacha have, by the way? For because I know she won a cage match. Uh, so just held items, but oh, I, okay. I don't. I haven't given it the Fire MZ because I don't. I, have, it I don't doesn't think have you any even can. Oh, with Revelation Dance? Yeah, I don't I don't know if you can. We'll find out for sure. So I got a level 30 gum shoes and be swapping out for an egg, and I will grab the last one that's on the top row here. Dude, this chick has got a drought torkel, man. She's not messing around. Oh man, I'm glad I know that now though. Ooh, this is totally gonna hurt. Alright, this is gonna be it's level 30. Totally gonna hurt. Level 30. Actually, I wonder if you send in if I sent in my uh, Volpix at the same time in the first turn, which one would go through? It so your weather active Oh, Bullywag! So the way weather works, and the same goes for terrain, is the fastest per Pokemon activates first, and then the second, the slower Pokemon activates oh, second. So obviously the, Torkoal would so get Torkoal it here. So <laughs> Torkoal would be the one to get it, yep. That's pretty crazy. Oh, and you got Protect. Poliwag's actually kind of cool, man. Especially if it's hidden ability, because Drizzle could be really sweet. Oh man, yeah, I don't know if it, it's gonna have it though, but that'd be pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna nickname it, and I am gonna name him... <laughs> Slippy. <laughs> hmm. Slippy Toad, that's my favorite Toad, I think. Poly you got the Mario Bird. Toads too, the Mario Toads are pretty cool. Man, mm. I'm just like slowly taking down this Torkoal here. <laughs> I just feel like, I don't have any water moves on Marini, that's the main problem actually. If I had water moves, it would be, be pretty solid. I don't think Marini even learns any water moves either, right? 
Uh, oh, liquidation, I guess. Liquidation, yeah. yeah. I named him Guts. Oh, nice. Because, like, his intestines. He's got the little swirl. That's his intestine. <laughs> you know that, right? Sure. That's true. I totally knew that. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the case. I think I know you're, what you're saying is true. I just, I, I don't think I knew that. <laughs> Dude, your Turinator is, like, the best answer for this Torkoal ever. For every fire Pokemon ever. <laughs> hey, that's good, though. It's, it could be incredibly helpful. I don't and know. You have the drought, so dang. I don't know why I didn't go for that earlier, actually. I feel like the flamethrowers would have done way more. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to beat this Torkoal, man. Oh, not so good against Seeking, though. Hmm. Well, well you, no, no, I guess no. So keep in mind you're neutral, and yeah. if the sun is still up, then his water it's moves not up too much. Oh. <laughs> it's not up. But, but it is neutral, at least. Oh, I'm scared of Kurama, though, because Kurama's definitely the freeze dry. You got P, yo. P hat? Yeah, he's P hat, dude. Oh, yeah, he has, he, do P -hat? he has Venom Shock. He has I forgot. You can't touch P hat, bro. No, the thing, I thought I thought he didn't have any uh, attacking moves, though. No. Because I didn't have any earlier. He had, like, Peck and Bite. Yeah, like... you just Toxic Venom Shock, man. You get, uh, you get the crit every time. Yep, dude. I definitely, I really liked using, even though it's, de like, not as good as the Regenerator, I do really like the Merciless ability. Like, I think it's just a really unique thing. Yeah, oh, well, it's better than Regenerator in-game anyway. Like, if you were doing... Um, oh, that's that's bread too. I didn't realize it has haze. Haze is an egg move. Yeah, and it's really good for competitive. It's probably not not, be not quite here, as but, good here, but <laughs> definitely good for competitive. So yeah, and it does have like calm nature too. So what did he go for? Lava bulky. plume against you? Yeah. Are you scared of the plume? I'm a little scared, but I've got. Uh, I'm gonna bust that Z move right now. Oh snap! Oh. It's kind of a repeat from our cage match, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen you use it against a Pokemon though, like a wild trainer. <laughs> Mostly because you don't really need it. That does but, pretty big wow, damage, I would say. I mean, as a, I mean, it didn't knock it's it out. It's always going to be crits. I just realized. I don't know why. I was about to say it well, was that's a crit. That's cool because then but... you add up the toxic damage too every mm -hmm. time. Like that's actually kind of cool. Um, and you've got recover on there too, so you could you could definitely stall it out when it's using toxic and stuff. Yeah. Don't get flinched. I got the protect. Oh, I, I don't Ooh, think... one shot of the torque hole. Very nice. I think it had protect. I might have gotten rid of it actually. It's just not a great choice, but. And one of the balls, I think, gets baneful. Yeah, bunker, it's gonna get so. baneful bunker, so that'll be good. I wonder if I can one shot a seeking. Oh, and her last Pokemon's Leafy on. That's. I'm gonna go for the That's Thunder Punch. okay. I, huh. This is actually tough because I know that the Leafy on's gonna be neutral against me. I think I can definitely survive a hit though, so I'll just heal up. Dude, I just one shot the Sea King with a Thunder <laughs> Punch, and it did like zero to me because it was sunny, so he couldn't barely touch me. <laughs> Watch out for the Leafy on though, dude. Oh, I'm definitely switching against Leafy on because I'm not. Cause so this guy's trainer yeah, is really cool because Leafeon has double speed in the sun because of chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. But I have a great Leafeon response, and that is Eugene, baby! Eugene four times resists them grass type moves. I so. love seeing drought in my game because it's moon, so it's always nighttime. <laughs> it's like, how the heck do you have drought at nighttime? I don't know. Be careful of a crit here, man. Yeah, no, I'm Keep definitely healing up. <laughs> Marini's not very bulky until uh until it until evolves. Until it's a Toxapex. And oh what? god, this thing went for sword stance. I what? think it's at level 40 or 30. No, I think it's 35. I think oh, you're really? actually almost there. I think it's man. really close. It's not that much higher than where you're well, at. Yeah, I've definitely been stalling this battle a little bit, but it's no problem, man. As long as I can win him, <laughs> I'll take anything at this point. Why the heck are you synthesizing? You just use synthesis against me, too. At, like, for full HP, pretty much. I'm debating on what I'm going to do against what it a to weirdo. beat it easily. Because it went for Swords Dance, so I'm trying to be careful against it. But if he just synthesis, that's going to be annoying. Oh my god, it has Swords Dance, too. That's not good. Oh, I know. I'm, that's what I'm trying to deal with right that's now. That's not he's, good. He's plus four in front of me oh. right now. Wait, but Magical Leaf is... Oh, they use Razor Leaf. Oh my god, the one shot, of course. Probably should have just gone for that earlier. Please just go for Razor Leaf. Don't synthesis again. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, it's so weird. It has Magical Leaf, and I think it had something else, and th those are special moves. Like, yeah, <laughs> why like, are you Swords why? Dancing? <laughs> why are you Swords Dancing, Leafeon? I don't know, man. Right, I feel cool. like these trainers in the game, you know, they have really cool strategies sometimes, but because they're AI controlled, of course, like, they can't really... No, oh, well, there's another I guess you're trainer, battling right? that trainer. Yeah, you know, I do need a little bit of more experience, but it's all good if you want to keep on moving along. We yeah. are getting really close to Poetown now, so... Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna be at Potown on the next episode, and and we yep. could probably get through the whole Potown. I would I would think maybe. Yeah, I think Potown is definitely just one episode what material. Have? Sneasel, mm -hmm. I'm trying to prepare my matchup here. I guess I was already prepared. I didn't even realize I got Wiz. What are the chances that Sneasel has a fighting? I move? got the Wiz. I don't think it gets many fighting moves, honestly. I don't know if I want to risk it. I've definitely got. I've used Sneasel like plenty stuff. of times, and I don't think it learns anything. I know it learns Brick Break by TM. There's always that small chance it has it, yeah. <laughs> or Low Kick, maybe, but I think I'm going to be okay. I'm going to go with Elsa here. It'd just be devastating to lose Elsa right here, like yeah. right outside of Potown. <laughs> well, that's kind of been me for that's the last couple. That's kind of been you. <laughs> Every time you're just about to evolve something, Ugh. the struggle happens, my friend. I don't know about this Komala, though. It's kind of 
weird that she even has a Komala over here. I would have thunk that like somebody back at the route where you catch it. I be honest, it. I actually don't even know where you find it. Was it just at the, the what route we were just at? No, nah, it's like uh before the muds deal. Oh my god, that thing hurts. What the Oh that makes sense, okay. Alright, alright it Mar. I hope it doesn't have fighting moves. I don't think it does. Uh I don't think so. Oh it, it could learn I know it gets play rough and wood hammer. Yeah, wood hammer, but not bunch. hammer arm, right? No, I don't <laughs> think so. And do you have? Oh, you don't have sturdy. Okay. Well, I guess I got superpower. I wouldn't superpower on the first I'm gonna, turn. I'm gonna just head head. Because don't forget, superpower is gonna drop. Yeah, it your... drops here both of you. Oh, your... that's what I was looking for. Sword Ooh, stance. Sword stance. That's your final move there. Well, I oh. want to get hail on. I don't know if it learns hail by level up. If it does, that would be huge. Because then I could swords dance, get the hail up, put in some work. <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's see if I can beat this Kamala here. I was about to say, like, what if we had the cage match with Vulpix and and, Sans, and Snowshrew, but you would totally destroy the oh, yeah, Vulpix. It's one shot, <laughs> man. especially once you evolve, it's a one shot. Yeah. Um, oh, and we do get the encounter here. I don't know if you got yours yet. Oh, no, I haven't gotten one yet. I kind of forgot about it. I almost forgot about it. I mean. Yeah, we might as well. Let's get it real quick. And then we could probably... And there's one more still before Poe Town. One more encounter. Yes, I think it's a new route. Ooh, hey, Rebombie. Rebombie. Cha Cha up to 37, getting closer. So level 40 it learns Revelation Dance, guys, and that is what I've been waiting for for a very long time because this thing is terrible until it learns a move. <laughs> like, basically, it's terrible until it learns that, so. Yeah. Um, what do I want to do? I'm At least gonna... it gets that. Like, I honestly, when I first looked it up or when I first saw that Pokemon, uh, the, the level up moves, I was like, really? It doesn't get stabbed? Like, it's such a unique Pokemon with its four um, forms or whatever, right? Yeah. I think this might kill it, though, this Body Slam. I hope it doesn't. No, Body Slam won't kill it. I, I just feel like Ribbon B's so frail. It's at full HP. <laughs> oh, you're fine, then. Yeah. I guess Ribbon B's not that frail. Did he use Dazzling Gleam against you, or no? No, he just did Sweet Sound. I just don't want him to Dazzling Gleam, but I guess I'm a few levels higher, so I should be able Dude, to... I have no idea if it even would have it this, like, a wild one, you know? Does it I wonder it? if Rock Slide would kill it. Probably. I'm gonna go for the Rock Slide. Probably. I don't think it's gonna kill it. I don't oh, think it will. I guess you don't get stab or anything, so. Yeah, and Vibrava is not that strong. So. I got the three shakes and I got the Vibrava. <laughs> hey, we living. Vibrate. I just think of uh, Vibrava's Pixel Mine Cry. Vibrava. I just think of vibrating. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Well, that's what it's doing. I, I think it learns Boom Burst by level up at some oh, point. Oh, Critical Capture, dude, Again? third one. Oh dude, my god! what gosh. is with my Critical Capture luck, dude? Dude, I don't know, man. That's crazy. You, you've gotten three, I think, right? Yeah, three so far. I've gotten a So big, it's based on the zero. amount of Pokemon that you've captured, but it's not like my dex is that much more full than yours. Yeah, I think we checked, actually. It was like, you had like that's, 10 more? Yeah, maybe Something a few like more, that? but I've just been getting lucky. I don't know. All right, I'm moving along, man. It is time for it's the rainy time. day. It's time for the rainy day, Po Town. And also for my favorite, my favorite Kahuner, who's not even in here. <laughs> nope. There is a shiny red something though. Ah, what, Zygarde what is this Cube. Thing? It's Squishy. You know who Squishy is? Larry, man. Wait, who's Larry? It's Larry. Wait, so is this a new route? I didn't even see. Yeah, this is route 17. Oh, it is? Okay. Yep. The final route in Ula Ula, dude. I can't believe we already made it here, right, dude. I'm gonna grab my encounter and then we'll wrap it I'm up. I'm gonna right say here, it's gonna man. be a gumshoes, bro. It's gonna be a All gumshoes. Right. I think you're probably right. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a. Oh, I got one immediately. Gum. Oh, I think it was gonna be a lady. <laughs> Mine is eradicate. It's totally eradicate. Oh, Ariados. It's, it's like we're in parallel universes, That's man. That's like my second Ariados, too. This is my second lady, I think. Right, I'm gonna Dragon Breath it. I don't. Actually, will Dragon Breath kill? This is gonna be interesting. I don't think it Probably will. Probably not. No, it's got Probably great special not. defense. I don't think it will. I'm Maybe gonna get the have, pair of them. Oh my gosh, that, yeah, did, that nothing. did nothing, dude. What wow, and he calls for help. Unless the Shawnee just get on my face. If he calls <laughs> in for help, I'm just gonna rock slide both of them. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, one of us actually got the shiny? I'm gonna just throw an Ultra Ball and see that. I just feel like the chances are so low, but at the same time, it, it could always happen, man. It could always happen. I got mine. Come on. So good stuff. Oh, wow. I thought you were going to catch it, too, for sure. I just don't want him to call in for help, dude. All right. So what do you think? Should we wrap it up hatching some eggs now or just uh, nah, save, I think them, we save them for a while? Them. We save them. You never yeah, know. I mean, we don't really need them we or shouldn't, anything. We shouldn't change anything on our team just yet. And I yet. think your bench is feeling pretty full still, so. It's very full, man. Mm -hmm. I have I have almost a full box of bench Pokemon at this time. Mm. I mean, things we've seen very much so that things can change very quickly on this Let's Play, so... If I don't get hit, you know, a million times by this thing, then... Well, I will be... Actually, let me check out my team. I think I'm a little oh, bit wow. beat up look right at, now. Look at how, how much he, I, like... I got him down to, like, red with that. That's funny. All right, Letty, and you are going to stay in the Pokeball this time. 
Dude, next episode is gonna be hype though. I really like Team Skull and just Po Town is a super cool area. So, and I'm hope excited you guys are excited Volvar. for it. We got a Volvar. Oh my gosh! Ice type. Finally, we get the Ice Stone. Oh, it's gonna be great, man. man. It's gonna be great. So, if you guys want to witness the double icy evolution, make sure to stay tuned to A Drive's channel here for the next episode. But I think that is gonna be it. So, for once, I gotta ask you, Dan, where are we going? We are going to the deli right now to grab some <laughs> lunch, guys. So we will catch you guys in the next episode. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. For myself and Munch, I'm going to take a side on your channel. Peace. Peace.